708-7869-73. Fly higher. Take advantage of the moment in the spirit. This is like an opening. Enter, enter. Spread out your wings now. Fly. Beauty for Ashes. Rescuing an endangered generation. Hallelujah. A very good afternoon, wonderful people. Praise the most high God. I just want to welcome you all to Beauty for Ashes. Today is day number 40. Hallelujah, Jesus. We'll come you to day number 44 of our 50 days of higher levels. Hallelujah, Jesus. Like we are counting down and uh, we have to finish powerfully. We have to receive whatever the Holy Spirit has in stock for us, especially in this season we have come this far. You're all most welcome. Wherever you're listening in from to Beautiful Ashes on 96.6 Spirit FM Kampala, it is so good to have you. So good to have you. Preparations are still going on at our prayer camp. I think we are in our, our final, final touches. Hallelujah, Jesus. Like those of you who are listening in can go to our YouTube channel, which is Stella. As a mad, you can see the great work that is going on at our prayer camp. I bless the name of the Lord so much for his faithfulness, for his loving kindness, for this far that he has brought us as we are preparing for our three days prayer camp. We are so so expectantly waiting for the man of God and his team, Apostle Edu Edechuku, to be hallelujah jesus those are clapped from the prayer camp from the studio audience apostle edu edechuku and his team all the way from nigeria are coming to conclude the 50 days of higher levels <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah to god be the glory we are so expectant we are so expectant. I had a dream this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. I, I woke up. I slept again. Had a dream. I had a dream that like a heavy vehicle. You know those vehicles that carry, that carry cement? What are they called? The long ones. Eh? Oh, oh, it is beyond track. It has another name. The long ones. Eh? Uh-huh. The trailer. Not the one that has little, that the one that is long, that is used like for the cement people. It is used for, it is used by World Food Organization and it was carrying food. Hallelujah. It was carrying sacks of food coming to the prayer camp. Hallelujah, Jesus. Something has already been dispatched. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor at the workplace, something has been dispatched already. Hallelujah. Jesus, tell your neighbor at home, something has been dispatched. You are the come. Tell yourself, uh, something has been dispatched. Hallelujah. You cannot afford to be left behind. So let me give you proper directions to the prayer camp. Hallelujah. Those of you who, are, who want to use public means, very simple. Go to Namirembe Road Tax Park. You will board taxis coming to Chanu Nabusunju. It is 7,000 to the prayer camp. Hallelujah. You tell the conductor to leave you at Chanuna. As you go reading the signposts, you will see Chanuna. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you get to Chanuna at the stage, you will see the, a signpost that has the poster of the three days prayer camp of me and Apostle Edu. Hallelujah, Jesus. You will see it where the government camera is and just slope down. Hallelujah, Jesus. Opposite the playground, you will see tent-like structures, green roofs. Hallelujah. The buildings at the prayer camp have a particular structure. The structure you see on the signpost, signature, signature structures of our prayer camp. You see it on a signpost. As you slope down, you will see those very structures. Plus uh, what? Ten structures. That is a Zenith Auditorium. That is green. Hallelujah. Army green. You cannot get lost. It's a walkable distance. But you can even tell the Okada guys to bring you down. It is walkable. It is reachable. That is your transport. Those of you who want to commute of 12,000 shillings daily. That is for the three days. And they are those, hallelujah, Jesus, who have chosen to be like the men of Gideon. The men of Gideon who lapped with, the, who lapped with their tongues, hallelujah. Who say, you know what, I have to stay here. 
I have to be at the prayer camp for all those days. I have to tarry longer in the presence of God. I need to receive something. I need to sleep at the prayer camp. Very simple. Hallelujah. Make your reservations earlier, earlier, and right now. Right now. Don't be left behind. Hallelujah, Jesus. The numbers that you're using to make your reservations are 776 44 636 or 0752-044-636. Don't be left behind. God is doing something quickly. Quickly. At such a time as this. Make your reservations on zero. 776-044-636 or 0752-044-636. Don't be left behind. Don't say transport is my problem. Hallelujah, Jesus. Or maybe the fee you're paying for your accommodation. No. Just say, you know what? I want to be part of the three days prayer camp. I can transport myself to that place. I can do this, but I need a hand. Hallelujah, Jesus. I need a hand. Don't be left behind. Don't just sit there and say, you know what? I don't have. I think I should stay home. Mm -mm. You do not have to stay home. And those of you who are using uh, your private means, the directional map is on our YouTube channel and on my account that is Stella Aza. It is so absurd that our, our Facebook page, Beautiful Ashes with Stella Azamadia, was pulled down. But that cannot stop the gospel from being preached hallelujah jesus jesus is what is unlimited we have a few days to go today is monday tuesday wednesday thursday three more days to our three days prayer camp hallelujah jesus three more days three more days for you to be here for you to come and pray for you to tarry in the presence of god come and drink Come and drink. Hallelujah, Jesus. That vehicle I saw, I'm so expectant. That trailer eyes that I saw, I am so expectant for what God is going to do. You know, ever since we began the 50 days of higher levels, there are ministers who have been sleeping here. Hallelujah. Media team is here. There are some who come by over the weekends. There are those who have joined us and are praying. There are those who come and go. But don't miss out. Don't miss out these three days, this Friday. And make sure you are at the camp in the morning on Friday. If you can, just come on Thursday. Hallelujah, Jesus. But very early in the morning, Friday, pack your bags for the entire weekend at the prayer camp. It is not far from town. Chanuna Village, Wakiso District, on Hoima Road. Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't miss out. Don't miss out on this three days prayer camp. Your life cannot remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just giving an opportunity for people to make their reservations right now. Get in touch right now. Send an SMS to 776 044 636. The SMS number is 776 044 Six three six or oh, zero seven five two zero four four six three six again zero seven seven six zero four four six three six or oh, zero seven five two zero four four six three six those are the numbers make your reservations right now in Jesus' mighty name people are coming i hear the people coming from kenya we have such gentlemen here from masaka hallelujah people are coming from far people are coming from the border book you can't stay home no you in kampala you can't stay home hallelujah even the neighboring villages here you cannot you cannot stay home goberona mayumba busunju you can't stay Stay home. You can't stay home. Hoima Road people, you can't stay home. Wakiso District, you can't stay home. Yet people are coming from the outside countries. Hallelujah, Jesus. They are already praying. Apostle Du and his team, they are charged up to be part of the grand finale. Three days prayer camp. If I were you, I would pack like some people like Bosco at the prayer camp. Hallelujah, Jesus. What's your name again? Saimo. Like Saimo from Masaka, I would do what? I would do. James, where are you coming from? Look, 
James, you're coming from Lugazi. Ah, Makatipaya. We have somebody from Lugazi. We have somebody from Masaka. Bosco, where are you coming from? Eh? Gulu. Ha <laughs> ha! Jesus. Gulu, Masaka, Lugazi, camping here already. Kati Tosigala Mavega. Don't remain behind. Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't what? Remain behind. And you're just saying in answer, and you say, you know what? Uh, uh, I think I'm just going to watch online. You're not the kind of person to watch online. Lugazi is here. Masaka is here. Gulu is here. They already camped. <laughs> Hallelujah. All the way from Lugazi, the other side. All the way from Masaka. All the way from Gulu. Kakati gowe wa gowe chambogo. Hallelujah, Jesus. Owe makerere. Owa nkowe. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Wherever you are, Ntinda is not far. If somebody from Masaka is here, Hallelujah, Jesus. It is not far at all. Bueo gerere is not far. Hallelujah. Find your way. Kololo is not far. Which other place? Chebando is not far. Which other place? Ntinda is not far. Buata is not far. Nalia is not far. Where? Kalis is of people. It's not far. Where else? Eh? Bugolobi, it is not far. Which other place? Gayaza, it's not far. Which other place? Kabalagala is not far. Seguku, where are you? Nakawa, where are you? Mbanda, where are you? Chireka, where are you? Nasana people, where are you? Which other, which other place? Bunamwaya, where are you? I, I what? Iganga people, where are you? If Masaka has been represented, Hallelujah. Lugazi has been represented, Hallelujah. Jesus, Gulu has been represented, Hallelujah. Where are the Ambarara people? Hallelujah, Jesus. Where else? Mukono, Mukono people, where are you? Bushenyi, where are you? Chema, where are you? Who, which people? Mutukula people, where are you? Luero, where are you? Eh? Mitiana people, where are you? Garuga people, where are you? Ntungamo, where are you? Hallelujah, Jesus. Preparations are on. Which other place? Napika, Nakapiri Pit people, where are you? Moroto, where are you? Soroti, where are you? Randa, where are you? Kenya is, Kenya is coming. When are the Kenya people coming? When did they say they're coming? On 8th, they're coming on Thursday. Here at the prayer camp, the people have crossed borders coming for the prayer camp. Hallelujah. Don't stay behind. Don't stay behind. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Day makers come to the camp. Hallelujah. God is doing mighty things. The harvest is ready. The fields are white. So get in touch right now on 0776 044 636 0776 044 636 or 0752 044 636. We bless the name of the Lord for weather. We are believing and trusting God for clear weather. It has been raining. It has been raining, but we say not to rain in this three days prayer camp in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this wonderful moment. Hallelujah. Continue making your reservations. I will get, we shall get back to you after this program. That is on 0776 636 Send your SMSs. 0776 Zero four four six three six or zero seven five two zero four four six three six. Another thing we need to do, Kingdom Finances. Let's pay for the radio programs, especially during these fifty days of higher levels. Kingdom Finances, you're doing a great work. I'm standing just beside a beautiful gold pillar. Hallelujah, Jesus. We are we are ministering from our pulpit. is called Solomon's Temple. And uh, it's built in the, like, the, the, the origin of this, uh, this Solomon's temple is from the original 
Solomon's temple. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless God. We bless God. We picked an idea from it. I thank the Lord so much for this father that he has brought us. Kingdom finances, we've been working together ever since we began Beauty for Ashes. We, are, we used to have a Friday overnight in the city. Then we moved to Muganzi, rather still in the city. Now, during lockdown, God blessed us with a prayer camp. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want the people on the cameras, people on our... People listening to me, just go to our YouTube channel, which is Stella Azamadia, and you see, and you see, and you see something. Hallelujah, Jesus! A beautiful video of the great work that is being done at the prayer camp. You bought this land during. Uh, I think it was towards the end of lockdown. That is when we were able to acquire this prayer camp called the New Jerusalem City of the Lord. It is a city. Hallelujah, Jesus. So far, this is the work that has been done. We believe when as, as, more, as more people give in, as more people give in with their whole heart, as more people sacrifice, hallelujah, Jesus, as more people stand, we shall do more in Jesus' mighty name. But so far, we are grateful to God that we have people like you. We are grateful to God. <laughs> hallelujah. And we are grateful to God. We have wonderful listeners. We are grateful to God for you, the kingdom finances. But still, even in this season, Hallelujah. Today I'm preparing you for the three days prayer camp. Day number 44. I'm yet to minister. Hallelujah. Let us be part of the kingdom finances in this season. Your money is needed for the work of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The master is in need of the colt and the donkey. When God wants to do something, when Jesus needed to have the last supper, he needed people. He needed somebody to provide his room. His room for him to have a last, the last supper. When Jesus needed to feed people, he just needed a young lad to provide the five loaves and the two fish. Hallelujah. When Jesus needed to preach the gospel in a boat, the disciples provided the boat. Hallelujah, Jesus. God wants to do something with your money. Hallelujah. He wants to preach the gospel with your money. And Better still, he wants you to be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. So make your reservations right now. Say, so still, I want to be part of the three days prayer camp. Send me a message on 776 636 or 0752-044-636. We are so expectant. We are expectant. In this season and we are looking forward to seeing you at the prayer camp for the three days that is from friday up to sunday we have morning sessions afternoon sessions and night sessions in Jesus' mighty name hallelujah open with me your bible open with me your bible to to second kings Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter 4. Second Kings chapter 4. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets to Elisha, saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take him, my two sons, to be bondmen. And Elisha said to her, what shall I do for you? Tell me. He asked, what shall I do for you? Tell me. Just like the Holy Spirit is at his prayer camp, as we are concluding the 50 days, he's asking, what do you want me to do for you? What shall I do for you? Like Esther was asked, Esther, what is your petition? Even half the kingdom, it will be granted unto you. Listen, tell me what, what you have in the house. Hallelujah, Jesus. When God wants to do something, he will ask you, what do you have in the house? 
Hallelujah. Don't come empty handed. What do you have? Oina wochi. I was telling the ministers of beautiful ashes last night. Even you who listen in, you've been listening in for five years, two years. Hallelujah. At least there has to be your seed of a hundred thousand for these 50 days of higher levels. Hallelujah, Jesus. He asks, what do you have in your house? And I was telling the older ones, at least your hundred dollars needs to be part. So you know what? I am not, just like King David said, I am not going to take this land that does not cost me. Hallelujah. I am not going to take this threshing floor at no cost. You can't fast for all these 50 days. You have your petitions. The Lord asks, what do you have in thine house? What do you have? Someone say, I have my prayers. I have my fasting. But there is something the Lord needs precious. Hallelujah. There is something that God uses to push you to another level. Oh, Inachi. Hallelujah. And oil is also very important. That is why you needed to be part of the 50 days of, the high, of higher levels from the start. Because people who started are on another level. Thank God you have come right now. Yesterday I told some people, people who had just joined us, and ministers who had not been part of the 50 days of higher level, I said there is a moment to catch up. You need to go in catch up moment. You need to go into 24 hours of prayer. Hallelujah. You need to go into 24, hour, 24 hours rather of fasting. Fasting and prayer. 24 hours at the sound of my voice. If you know you have not been committed in these 50 days of higher levels, you have not been fasting. You have not been consistent. You know you've been distracted here and there. Do your 24 hours. Start. Hallelujah, Jesus. Start. 2 p.m. Start your 24 hours and end tomorrow at 2 p.m. Hallelujah, Jesus. 2 p.m. Start. Some of you are even eating food right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Immediate effect. Hallelujah, Jesus. Immediate effect. Tell yourself, I need to catch up. I need to catch up. Or if you're that kind of person I'm talking to, send your SMS on 0776 636 You cannot be left behind. Oh. Go into 24 hours of fasting. Did you hear me? 24 hours. Hallelujah. Some of you might listen to this program later. Hallelujah. Those who listen in in the evening. 24 hours. You begin in the morning. You begin in the morning on Tuesday. Hallelujah, Jesus. Those of you who are hearing right now, start. Those of you who are listening later, start tomorrow morning, 24 hours. You will finish on Wednesday evening, 24 hours of prayer. When God, as God wants to do something in the lives of people, he asks, what do you have? Hallelujah. What do you have? Hallelujah. There was a time when God wanted to feed the children of Israel. He brought quails. He brought manna. But when Jesus wanted to feed the multitudes, he asked, what is there? What is there? The disciples told him, these people are very many. And he said, what is there? And then Philip says, there is a young lad who has five loaves and two fish. What do you have? Hallelujah, Jesus. What do you have? What do you have? Yesterday, one of the ministers said, you know what? I have saved this money. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring this 500,000 to do the work of God. I had saved it from something else, but I don't want to be left behind. What do you have? What do you have that can be multiplied? Maybe what you have is your transport to come to the prayer camp. Maybe what you have is your phone to call. I don't want to be left behind. Maybe what you have, says Stella, what do you need? People need to eat food. They will be fasting. Hallelujah, Jesus. They will be fasting and they will be eating food in the evening. Hallelujah, Jesus. Say, I'm providing sacks of rice. I am providing sugar. I am providing matoki. I'm providing cooking oil. I am providing salt. Hallelujah. What do you have? Don't look down even on your 1,000. It buys salt. 
don't look down on anything. Jesus never looked down on that lady who had three mites. He never looked down on her. Hallelujah. What do you have? Some of you have not been fasting. You've been dodging here and there. This is a serious business. You will wake up and the people whom you thought were your peers, maybe in the spirit, this one we minister with, this one we pray with, this one we work with, you will find them on another level altogether. Why? Because they had the understanding of the times and seasons. Wherever you are this afternoon, don't miss out on what the Lord is doing. Don't miss out on what the Lord is doing. People have already advanced. Don't be left behind. Don't be left behind. Don't be left behind. What do you have? And she said, your handmaid has nothing. Has not anything in the house. Like someone might say, I don't have anything. Save a pot of oil. Some of you might not be having the money, but at least you've been praying and fasting. Some of you don't have the money, but you've also been quepenaring, praying and fasting. You've not been fasting. You know you're struggling, but fasting is hard. Start. Start. Start somewhere. You're struggling with addictions. Start somewhere. What do you have? What do you have in the house? Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is hovering. He's in offices. He's in homes. And asking that question, what do you have? What do you have? Some of you, all that you need to do is say, my vehicle is here. Hallelujah. Because there, there are some people who are going to be sleeping off, cam off campus. I mean, off the camp campus. They are sleeping off. Hallelujah, Jesus. And said, this is my vehicle. This is because of the number of people that are coming. We have to get another place for people to be accommodated as well. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, you know what? I want to be the kingdom financer. This is what I have. This is what my workplace has. This is what I have. What do you have? Hallelujah. What do you have? Some of us say, ma'am, go coming to pray. I might not be having that, but I want to pray. I am hungry for God. I need God to move. Your handmaid has nothing, but your handmaid has this. What your handmaid has, they need to come to the camp. I believe in this season. God is raising many men and women for the next move of God. And some of them might be broke. So being broke is not an excuse. Hallelujah. Being broke is not an excuse that you're not coming for the three days prayer camp. It is not an excuse for you not to fast. Say, so you know what? I'm not going to fast. I am very frustrated. Being heartbroken is not an excuse for you to sleep in your house. This lady was heartbroken. This lady had, had imagine you a widow. And your two only children, you know, men. Are important to women. Children are important to women. In those olden days, men were important. They could count them. Do you know that Jesus only counted men when 5,000 men were being fed? He said men ought to pray and not faint. He was looking at men. Imagine this lady, her only two men, the men who are supposed to build for her, the men who are supposed to supply her with food. Hallelujah, Jesus. The men who are supposed to take care of her. We are going to be taken away. Can you imagine what, you, what she was asked? What do you have? Some of you are there. You're broken. You're going through situations. And God is asking you, what do you have? I don't know when you last fasted. Maybe you've given up along the way. God, I'm depressed. God, I'm frustrated. I believed you and things are not working. Man, hallelujah. This, this woman was asked amidst of what she was going through. She needed the money. She was broken. She was frustrated. I believe she was depressed. Can you believe you're being asked what you have? Stella, you do not know what you're talking about when I have a loan. You do not know that I have to buy medication. 
That's the more reason you need to be part of the 50 days of higher levels. You don't know that I, 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 my children sat home. I did not have school fees. You don't know that I dropped out. You don't know that Stella, I'm qualified. But I, have, I lost my job. I have no job. I am struggling. Hallelujah, Jesus. Still, I have it all, but I have no, I, ha I have no, some of you, some people's problems are just having a maid. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. I wish I had permanent to take care of my children. Bring the children to the prayer camp. Come with them. Carry them. Say, you know what? What do you have? Some of you, what you have is to carry all those friends of yours to the prayer camp. Carry that husband of yours to the prayer camp. Carry that boyfriend of yours to the prayer cup. You're not even sure. Hallelujah. Come here if it is not the right thing. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Bring it in the house of God. Bring it to Bethel. In Jesus' mighty name. Bring it. It's in the house of God that Hannah was able to receive a child. Is from the house of God, my God, my God, that prophetess Anna was able to see Jesus. You might not be able to see certain things from wherever you are, but once you draw closer, once you draw closer, you will see it. What do you have? Prophetess Anna had her prayer. She was also broken. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going through this. Stella, you don't know. You also don't know what I've been through these 50 days of higher levels. Hallelujah, Jesus. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know what I've been through. Some of you okay, know my past. I thank God. God has given beauty for ashes. But I've been there broken, disappointed, rejected, losing your only child. And so God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You have no excuse that for me I was heartbroken. I never came. That I lost my loved one last week. I am not coming. This is a season of charging your battery. This is a season of being refired. She would have sulked. You know what? This man of God, Elisha, he wants to take my only oil. Guy Mubi. Tate I need comfort. Doesn't she understand? He understand that I need to be loved. Hallelujah. Some of your problems are love problems. Hallelujah. Translate all that energy into seeking God. Translate all that. You're welcome to the prayer camp. That is from Friday. And those of you who are coming to sleep here, come in the morning. Because the prayer camp begins that very day. In fact, you had better come on Thursday and settle in. You had better pack right now. What do you have? Some of you just have your legs to transport you to the prayer camp. Just go, board a vehicle, get to Namirembe Road. At least you can believe God for your transportation. From wherever you're coming from, go to Namirembe Road Tax Park. Board taxis, going to Chanuna Busunju. That is 7,000 shillings. Hallelujah. Just have your 12,000 for, for bringing you. Hallelujah. In fact, you need 20 even from your place. Hallelujah. You can believe God for that. Come to the prayer camp. Come, sir, I'm going to pray. I'm tarrying in the presence of God. Hallelujah. I can't remain here. I have to go somewhere. Hannah never received her child from being in Elkanah's house. No. She never got her child from there. She had to take a step. Some of you are being asked, what do you have? There is an offering you need to bring to the prayer camp. And the Holy Spirit is telling you like Abraham, go to this place. This is where you're going to sacrifice your son. God gives specific places for sacrifice. Some of you are just listening to me right now. You've not been part of the 50 days of higher levels. Begin fasting now. Begin. Begin. Begin from somewhere. Hallelujah. This lady was brave enough. To surrender the small oil that she had. This is what I have. Those of you who have been fasting for the 50 days. This is day number 44. All the previous days. That is the oil that you have. Come and let it be multiplied at the prayer camp. Come and let it be multiplied. The reason as to why you need to fast. Is that you may come with some oil to be multiplied. 
Are you hearing me? That you may come with some oil to be multiplied. Don't come oilless. Don't come when you've not yet fast. At least fast. Say, you know what, God? I'm going to the prayer camp. Let me prepare. Let me go with a little oil. Let me go with a little oil in my vessel. Hallelujah, Jesus. Even if it's one day of fasting. Even if it's hours of fasting. Even if it's days of fasting. Carry that. Carry that. What happened? Then he said, go borrow. Can you imagine? You do not have. Hallelujah. Bosco, you do not have. But they are telling you to go and borrow. Some people do not just give you their vessels. Levin, I, I, I know the times I have borrowed for good. Hallelujah, Jesus. Go do what? Go borrow. It is only people with radical faith who can do that. Hallelujah. It is for those with radical faith. Who can hearken to the servant of God? He tells you, go borrow. First of all, you're broken. You've, your son's about to be taken. You're frustrated. Maybe the pressure levels are high. That means that lady could have even had some sickness in her body. Now you're being told, go and borrow. Elisha, what are you talking about? In all this, just, I have my little oil. I've already surrendering. Now you're telling me to go and borrow. The Lord is simply telling people in Nevada to go an extra mile. Hallelujah, Jesus. To go an extra mile. An extra mile in your fasting. An extra mile in your praying. An extra mile in your giving. An extra mile. Go borrow. Go borrow. And he continues. Go borrow your vessels abroad. Of all your neighbors. God, what are you talking about? How, why should I borrow from all my neighbors? I thought you were telling me one neighbor. Living. But all. So you go and borrow from some. You go and borrow from who? You go and borrow from your landlord. You go and borrow from your landlady. You go and borrow from your uncle. You go and borrow from your boss. Your boss. Go and borrow. From your colleague. From your sister. Your mother. Go and borrow. I think the Holy Spirit is also asking people for particular sacrifices in this season. Go and borrow. Some of you are sleeping for eight hours. Give, reduce. You can't be sleeping like that. Hallelujah, Jesus. You can't. You can't. You can't. Napoleon Bonaparte talked about four hours and the eight hours for a fool. You can't reduce on them. Go and borrow vessels. With that, with that dream that I had, a heavy vehicle, a heavy trailer, a long one, was carrying food to the prayer camp and it had already begun the journey. It had, the journey had begun for the trailer in fact, the trailer was almost in, was on Hoima Road. On Hoima Road already, bringing a lot of food. Hallelujah. A lot of food. You can't stay home. You can't stay home. Hallelujah, Jesus. You cannot stay home. Go borrow vessels abroad. Hallelujah. Vessels where? Abroad. Can you imagine vessels abroad of all your neighbors? Even empty vessels borrow not a few. So some vessels that were brought were full. Hallelujah, Jesus. Even empty vessels do what? Borrow. Don't bring a few. Some of you, all you need to do, put the people in your vehicle. Transport the people. Let the heavens bank on that. Maybe transport yourself. Oh, make a call. Send an SMS. Still, I want to come to the prayer camp. Hallelujah. I want to come to the prayer camp. 
send an SMS right now on 0776 044 6360 776 044 6360 0752 044 636 go borrow vessels go borrow vessels abroad those of you are listening to me from the outside countries hallelujah jesus be part of the 50 days of higher levels be part don't be left behind distance cannot be a barrier hallelujah the anointing is limitless. It has no boundaries. Hallelujah, Jesus. I can send the word to Cameroon. Hallelujah. The word of God is quick and powerful. I can send the word of God to USA. I can send the word of God to, 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 to Chigali, to South Africa. Hallelujah, Jesus. To Sweden. God cannot be limited. To Toronto. Be part of what the Lord is doing. To Kenya. To Tanzania. To any part of the world. Go borrow vessels. Don't borrow but a few. There's somebody who is listening to me right now. Your relative is in prison abroad. Go borrow vessels. Bring that person's picture. Come and we pray. Be part of the 50 days of higher levels. Go into the 24 hours of, of, of fasting that I talked about. Bring the picture. There was one time we used to baptize people here. Someone came with a laminated photograph of the husband. The husband had left, built a house, put in the house another woman. After that, hallelujah, the man returned back home. He chased away that woman. During baptism, we immersed her with the photograph as well. Hallelujah. I, I remember I personally immersed the picture. The husband comes back, chases away the other woman, puts her in the house. Hallelujah. That is what God can do. That is what God can do. God answers prayers. And when somebody intentionally prays, consistently, fervently, not being distracted, focused, however long it takes, it will come to pass. Bring vessels. And this relative is in one of the Arab countries. She went to work. It was a misunderstanding. And she was taken behind bars. But God is a miracle worker. God is a miracle worker. If God could deliver Paul and Silas out of prison, there is nothing God cannot do. If God could deliver Peter out of prison, there is nothing that he cannot do. Come. Come. This year has not been smooth for some people. Don't give up right now. Bring vessels. Bring vessels. While others are saying there is a casting down. You and I say there is a lifting up. This season, this year is for people who are determined. Who are not going to be distracted by what they, by what they hear. What they see. They are going to press on. In the business, they will press on. In the area of education, they'll press on. In their marriages, they'll press on. He says, go borrow vessels. Don't bring but a few. The master wants to fill vessels. That's why I'm calling you. And when you are coming, you shall shut the door upon you and upon your sons. And you shall pour out into all those vessels. And you shall set aside that which is full. So God is interested in your oil. That is why it is important for us to pray and fast. He's interested in that oil. You will pour out in the vessels. Every one of us needs to have oil. You need to have oil as you prepare to come for the three days prayer camp. Oil in your vessel. Oil. Pray. Fast. Pray. Fast. Pray. Fast. Someone says, still I can't come, I'll pray online. If you can come here, come. The man of God, Apostle Edu Edechuku and his team are coming all the way from Nigeria. Come, don't watch online. Let others who are far watch online. But you are around, around. Come. Let's take a moment and pray. Hallelujah. I know our time is fast spent. But we can pray. We can bring in for those vessels bring in those vessels that the oil will continue flowing an anointing is coming 
we need the flowing oil that the oil will not stop hallelujah that the oil will not stop because you never brought enough vessels bring in the vessels Mekele prati alambo, a rembe de pekete pepe ketepe, a shimbregete pepe, a romba gatipa katai, a sikiti yalapo, a romba di bapo kotapo, a sikiti yalapo, a rembe de pekete pepe, a zekete yalapo, a romba di bakapo, a rembe di pekete pepe. Sikatia, a lambra supra catopa, a rembe de becetepe, a zembregate pepe a kai, a shimbre de bebe, a zombregate pepe a kai, a romba di bacapo, a sombregate pepe, a shimbre de be, bring in vessels, ma rati pacai, a shombre de beke, a rembe di becetepe, a ramba di bapo, a ramba di bapo, bring in your family. Ikataya, a lemprete pe, a sombre de pe, a romba di bapu. Bring in your colleagues, bring in your children. Mandia, a lambra tipaya. Bring in your extended family, a leprete tepe. Mandia, they need to be filled with oil. Mande kelekete. Bring in your region. We bring in the west. We bring in the north. We bring in the east. We bring in the south. We bring in the central. Mala rasa mrede pe. We bring in the neighboring countries. Mala Bradiba, we bring in Rwanda, we bring in Burundi, we bring in Tanzania, we bring in Kenya, Mashi Pratapo. We bring in DRC, Marete Pekepe. We bring in Mozambique, Alika Tipaya, Arembe Debe. We bring in Malawi. We bring in Zambia, Ashipra Tapoa. We bring in South Africa, Lepra Katipaya, Mandia. We bring in Chad. We bring in Nigeria. We bring in Cameroon, La Pratipa. We bring in Africa. We bring in Australia. We bring in North America. We bring in South America. We bring in Asia. Don't bring but a few. We bring in our government. We bring in our government. Isai, alikai, alimbrati papu, arambadi papu, asomre de pepe, akai. We bring in hospitals, mikati papu, arambadi papu. We bring in the prisons, mi arataya. We bring in the clinics, iyakatiya. We bring in the rehabilitation centers, schools and institutions, iyakai, iyakai. La rata pai, rata pai, arita pia. A lempe, a rimba, a pia. We bring in our medics. Ishem regetepe, a limbratepe. Don't bring bin, but a few. A lepri, a lepri, a lepri, a lepri, a lepri, a pia. We bring in the sick. Mikati alapambakatipa. We bring in the heartbroken. Ilakatapo, a lempe tepe, a lempe tepe, a lempe tepe. We bring in the devastated. We bring in a kia. We bring in the homosexuals. Mikatapo for deliverance. So God, we bring in I we bring in the corrupt officials in Lambrati Pia, in Lambrita Pia, in Lambrita Pia, Akati Pia. We bring in vessels for deliverance, Allah Pia. We bring in vessels for healing. We bring in vessels for revival. Aya, aya. We bring in nations. Upon the papa po, upon the papa po, upon the papa po, upon the papa po, upon the papa po. Aya Gambo, Alipai. Eka alambai, we bring in transcripts. Alimba kapo pa kapo pa po. Alepe pe 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 pe. Arita pia, iyangai, aya wa wa ambapo apai. Bring in vessels. Not a few. A lembedepe. Bring in your enemies. Pai. To receive light. Bring in your friends. Apai. Bring in the witch doctors. La praya. Apai. Oh ah. Oh ah. Oh ah. Oh, ah. Don't bring in but a few. A lembrasi prati paya, a shimbrati papu. Bring them in. A randi dadi ala kapua, a rembe de bekete paya. Bring them in. A paya, a paya, a paya. We bring in the drunkards. Aye. We bring in the prostitutes. Apai. 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 We bring in the Red Indians. We bring in the Asians. We bring in the Africans. We bring in the whites. Aye. I can move forward. Aye. Apai. 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 Oh, oh, ah. we bring in the nation of Somalia. A pinda paka po, a pinda papa, a pinda papa, a pinda po, a rata papa 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 papa. 
nations, Italy. I. Aye, aye, aye. The continent of Europe. We bring them in. Bye. Bring in vessels. Don't bring in but a few. Ilakai, alapai. It is the vessels that are brought that are filled. A repete pepea, a repete pepea, a repete pepea. A pick up eye, a pick up eye, a pick up eye, a pick up eye. Don't bring in but a few. Bring in as many as Shimbra Katipai. Ikata, a rambadi bapu, a rambadi bapu, a rambadi bapu. We bring in churches. Iyakatambapa, a rapai, a rapai. We bring in the mosques. Lepra kapiapai, a pikatapu. Don't bring in but a few. Borrow, a paya, a paya, a paya, a paya. We bring in in the kai in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. It's just one hour on here on radio. Hallelujah. But we are going to spend more time. Especially those of you who are not on ground. We have to spend more time. That is why you're being invited for the three days prayer camp. That is from Friday up to Sunday. We shall be here at our prayer camp. That is in Chanuna village, Wakiso district on Hoima road. Camping for three days. Make your reservations. Even if you're saying still I don't have transport. Use the numbers on 0776-044-636. I don't know when Apostle Edu and his team will come again to Uganda. This could be a window for your family. Don't be left behind for your organization. Don't be left behind for your ministry. Pastors and your ministers and the entire team, you need to be part. Come at the camp. The numbers are 776 44 Businessmen, businesswomen, students, the corporates, intercessors, come. Ministers, come. 0776-044-636 or 0752-044-636. Those are the very lines you're using for giving. You can give as well. In one minute, let's take a moment and give. The lines are in the names of Stella Azar. Let's give, give towards this three days prayer camp. Give towards these 50 days of higher levels. The more vessels you bring, the more that will be filled. Bring your people at the prayer camp. In Jesus' name. 0776 044 636 or 0752 044 636. God bless you all. After Ekiti Apostolic Invasion, we will be if you are in Uganda, we will join you very soon. Amen. Amen. You can remember our sister, Dr. Stella, yes, that came here and all that. So you saw her, you people saw her, you will see that it's not just because part of the challenge of going to nation is that people just want you to come and they, they are not willing to 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 actually um, walk and allow priesthood to settle. They just want to benefit from what can come from priesthood and never be part of it. So you see that they are even doing 50 days. So it's Dr. Pastor Stella Azamadia and yours sincerely from 10th to 12th of May. Amen. But there are no 